we've already talked to the owners of the property adjacent to the bridge, and they are conducive to if we have to take any of that property, they are absolutely fine. Yeah. Right. So I think there's some long-term um, shining that is yes possible. Yes. Yes, Bruce. The suggestion this eliminates some of the problems since you got to acquire so Hall's building is property there to make a 60 foot wide thing eliminate the commercial street altogether as far as the culvert and the bridge and everything come around through Sill Hall's property come back go across the tracks you then you don't you you can make the nice bend going around the corner and I had shared this with her after the last meeting and you could it's going to cost a minimum of a million dollars with that 60 foot span if you're going 60 foot, you're going to probably be $2 million. It'd be to line everything up, the roads, spiral, the whole bit, you need Sill Hall's building, the, the storage building along there. If you acquire that, go back, put a road back in, and then come in on Union right, Street. Right, well, come in around where your building is. Come across the tracks where they used to go. With or you the, could even go down to the end of commercial and then come across. Well, you got the fire truck. The biggest thing is the fire well, trucks and delivery trucks. I think trucks. You, you'd have to improve Union Street. Yeah. It would definitely help, um, I think, the traffic flow. Yeah, it would eliminate it would eliminate an intersection coming onto Byron Road yeah. virtually, and then it would eliminate the, the trouble of trying to make that bend because you now have the property that the bridge is on and everything else to make your 60 degree bend instead of 90 degree bend. Yeah, but when really you put the but when you put the culvert in, whether you're 60 foot, I mean you still have to deal with the railroad. Uh, right. yeah, yeah. Uh, right. And and you're putting all the infrastructure in, and then at that point does it make any sense to go a different direction? Yeah, the railroad the railroad could be yeah. the next one you have to pursue to, as far as them stepping up to the plate and. Oh, trust me, they don't have any money. Yeah, yeah well, that's what they all say. <laughs> trust me, no, I, that I know for a fact. It really does. Keep, keep going with what you've got, though. But okay. that would eliminate, one, us spending $2 million for a bridge that's got to go back in there. Mm -hmm. It would give us the width of, you're talking 60 feet, because you can't go towards the Bible Road side. Correct. You have to go to the eastern side, or Northern, northern side. Northern northern side. side. Yeah. So if you have to take Sewell's build part of Sewell's building anyhow, and it I don't want to belittle his building or anything like that, but finally after all these years he's fixing it up and now you want to tear it down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but at the same time it, it's it's not somebody's houses, it's not Oh, I know, thought about something similar. Yeah. And just and you can come back because they used to run cement trucks back over on your side for 20 years dumping concrete back in there for steel building. And that, I mean, if you make an, an intersection going across there, that would be very doable as far as cost-wise. I don't know what Sill Halls would want, but you, you don't even need all of his building. Uh, he cut his hardware store and everything else on that side. You, you know that can all stay there. It, it, the problem is if you but you have to line the intersections if up. If you so. put a road through his property, then you <coughs> stop him from doing part. business. Yeah, with the, the trucks and the, the concrete trucks in the back. Yeah, but you're, now you have a road and they can go right into his parking lot, and um, he can. Uh, it, but as you were saying about Union Street, if you're coming down Bluff and you're coming Union and down uh, Liberty, to line that all up, you might have to take the end of his building. Well, I mean, if we're going to be a problem because it wasn't built for that kind of traffic. Right. You know, hey, keep in mind that you're dealing with consumer motorists who support the businesses in the community and making it difficult for them to get to our storefronts of businesses is going to hurt us. The traffic flow coming down Fire Road generally Bob, on your part of the road road subject, uh, okay, you, you have to do something with part of the road because the hillside's coming down and the walls fall down. Yeah, that's, that's no problem. Well, what, okay, what well, well, well yeah. having said that, uh, Mike, you had your hand up. Did you want to say anything? Yeah, I was 
Okay, okay fine. Uh, Pat, you said you wanted to say something? Yes, a number of things. Oh, oh that's too bad. <laughs> Bruce, what if you went, what if we continue to go even further? Why not relocate the creek onto the Silho property? If you, if you continue, now just, just follow it through. Instead of going under the railroad and then under Commercial Street to go next to Steel Belt and Carroll, don't go under either of them, create a new channel using the Soho property, which is, and again, no disrespect to Ted Teodori and, you know, and, 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 uh, and Silhols, but it's a cement plant in the middle of an urban environment. It's not really one of the gems of our community. Again, no disrespect to a good, thriving business and one of the you know, the largest contributors to our borough. But ultimately, it would dramatically change the, the, uh, the tenor of our community if we could take that creek through the Soho property to the back channel. Parallel to the railroad. Parallel to the railroad. Not ever going under the railroad, not ever going under Commercial Street. Parallel it down. Now, you might be able to continue to have Soho exist, you may not, I don't know, this is just, I'm, I'm leaping on to, to Bruce's idea and just taking it the next step further. Any, I'm, I'm curious as to Carolyn's. Yeah, you're right, I mean, it crosses somewhere, but it could be way back behind a fire. No, no, I'm saying it never crosses. Yeah, it would continue all the way down to the church. Yeah. 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 There is a small, there's a, yeah, there's a small creek right now that we don't notice. If you go on the Silhol property, there's a small creek that comes down and carries the water to the back channel. Well, again, why not take a look and see if we could use that small creek to be the new McLaughlin run, eliminating the whole need to, to, to deal with the railroad, which I know Lori would love to deal with the railroad some more. <laughs> but you, can, you completely eliminate dealing with the railroad. You can completely eliminate talking about widening the culvert because you're no longer going under commercial. Taking a straight shot to the back channel. Okay. It, it's, it's, you still need a large radius turn. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, you, and you still have your large yeah. radius yeah. Yeah. as you come yeah. under. You're no longer. You've solved your bend problem as well. 